So back in March, I did a software review for a program called Unchecky, and this was a really interesting concept, but it didn't really work too well. The whole idea was that you run this service and it helps uncheck the uh, like adware that comes in software installers, and it really didn't detect as many as I thought it would, and it didn't really work 100% of the time, so... You know, I kind of hoped that, you know, a few months later, maybe they would improve it. Well, we are now a few months later, and I'm curious to see uh, if Unchecky is any better than it was back then. So we have it installed. We're on the point three beta now. Service up and running. Cool. And apparently it has a icon in the notification area, so that's nice, I guess. Does something with host file, maybe. Okay, so it works pretty much the same as it did before, where you just have a service running, and you have two processes, which are using 1.1 megabyte and 700 kilobytes. So, yeah, like, less than two megabytes running, so you really won't ever notice this program. So, let's see if it even works. We have a lot of software installers here. Some of them may or may not be uh, flat-out malicious, but we'll see. Let's start with this Flash Player. Alright, run. Let's bring up the log function, see if that does anything, or shows anything. Yeah, we'll keep that there. And, uh, yeah, do ex or let's do custom. Uh, it's letting me check all of these. That's not good. Okay, so whatever installer that was, uh, well, I kind of got by that. Let's try, well, should we wait? It's installing my software. So I guess this is the install IQ installer. Maybe it got updated after this got updated, who knows. Let's try advanced system care. Now I'm not 100% sure if this comes with bundled adware, but we will see. Oh, no, that was my bad. Oh, it changed something to Yahoo, good. We are trying to do something here. IOBit, agree. Okay, so it did uncheck this, and we have a notification down here saying it did something. Four potentially unwanted program offers were rejected. Yeah, cool. Okay, so we'll install. Nice. Okay, so apparently it works for advanced system care, which is kind of nice. Okay, Flash Player is just going to keep installing. Minimize, advanced system, I don't care about that. Okay, so let's move on to AVS Video Converter, see if it works. Run, accept the agreement. doing something. Oh, we have like CPU usage up here now, thanks to advanced system care, I guess. <laughs> okay, that's kind of an interesting face. Alright, so, yeah, kind of got like some kind of rain meter thing going on. That's neat, I guess. Uh, get out of here, I don't care. Okay, so, AVS Video Converter, I don't think it came with anything bundled, but that's fine. How's this thing doing? Flash player setup? Come on, let me... Oh my god, I can't... I can't do anything! Launch! Do it! Ah, uh, continue! Yeah, get out of here. Alright, next software. Alcohol 120 from CNET Downloader. This will be good. Run. Install. 
Ah, so if there's no like checkbox and it still detects it, you can or it brings up this little notification saying that you're about to install some adware and you can just decline it. You can just keep hitting accept and it'll keep doing that. But it'll let you decline like, yeah, I just want to click accept. Nope, you can do decline before it's too late. So seems to work pretty well for the uh, CNET installers. Uh, we don't actually care about the software, so we'll close it. Uh, okay. Oh, it gave us the downloader. Yeah, we'll install it. What the hell? And we have Norton, apparently. I don't know where that came from. Okay. Alcohol, 120%. What is this? Why do I have Norton? What is this? Get out of here. I don't care. Yes. Install. Get out. Yay. I was doing something. Installing some drivers? I don't know. No, we'll reboot later. Oh, why do we have an AV now? Well, maybe not AV. I'm not sure. Let's try another CNET installer. Why not? Yeah. Accept. Okay, so it still declines offers. So that's good. We don't need it. Cancel. Stop opening. Let's try CCleaner now. This is directly from Pure Form. Next. Yeah. Ah, I see. Unchecks Google Chrome. That's good. Yay. We have CCleaner. Cool. Get out of here. Let's try this create burn ISO image dash setup.exe. This can't be good. Okay, uh, we'll accept this, whatever. Are we gonna accept it? Accept. Oh, it blocked it. Very nice, very nice. Decline. Uh, we'll still accept this. Interesting, okay, so it forces us to decline it. Accept that. Decline, decline. So that seems to be doing its job in. Uh, whichever installer this is, I'm not sure which one it is. Are we done here? Close. Yeah. Let's try download or yeah, download manager setup.exe. Go. So this is um is this install IQ? I can't tell. Install search protect. Oh no! Oh no! It's letting us install all this crapware. That's not good. Yeah. Damn it. Idman621 build 11 inst. Let's try it. Or underscore, whatever. Oh, we got all this crapware. Oh, are we gonna make it through the video? I don't know. Run, come on. Run. Please run File Kiddo Download Manager. Go back to Kitty Land. Oh, PC. Oh, oh, it's. Huh. Hmm. Okay, what are we doing? What are we doing? Get. Get out. Go away. Go quit. Oh my god, just so much shit. Alright, so this is the file hippo installer, or download manager apparently. Let's see if it works, or if it tries to give us adware. Finish. Install. Yes, yes. Please, stop opening web pages. I do not appreciate that. Go. Oh god, we have search protect. It's all over now. I don't care. I don't care. Please, 
stop. <laughs> Reg serve. Let's see if this does anything at all. Professional edition. Oh, this doesn't come with any adware or bloatware, bundleware or some sort of wear. That one doesn't come with anything. Let's try the soft tonic downloader for uTorrent. This is going to be good. I hope. All right, so this is the soft tonic download manager or downloader. Go. Ah, it automatically um, unchecks the download thing for this, so that's good. Except, ah, blocks it. Let's go ahead and skip it. Yeah, it won't install uTorrent. Now this, I'm sure, will come with some crap. Oh, it even unchecks this awful music or whatever. Awful indie music. I'm glad that it unchecks that. And we can't accept that offer, so we'll decline it. Optimizer Pro automatically unchecks it. Cool. Finish it up. Alright, cool. So this is the downloader, I guess, and it has all this shit in it. Close. Nice! Installation complete. Close. Let's try torrent. I don't know what this is. What the hell? Oh, it's Norton bitching at me. Run it anyway, I don't care. Norton trying to tell me to not run this malware? Um... Hmm. Sonar, oh, did it delete? It deleted it, son of a bitch. What was it? Why doesn't it tell me what it is? Oh, heuristics detected it. Um, allow, continue, rest whatever. Video converter ultimate setup full. This will be good. Accept and install. Oh, we agreed to be in some kind of survey thing, I think. Get out of here. Let's try video pad video editor. Another secure download, so this will be good. Next, next. Oh, it didn't let us, or it didn't, or it uh, did allow us to install all this garbage. Oh, well, it's not gonna let us install Google Chrome. Hell with that. Yeah, sweet. Oh my god. <sighs> what the hell? Get out of here. Exit. What do we have left? VLC media player? Give it a try. Oh, so it's not letting us run it? Always allow run. Don't delete it. Some kind of downloads manager. Almost done downloading VLC. Finish. Install. Ask me later. English. Next, 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 next. Cool. Okay, so I don't think the actual... Uh, VLC installer comes with any bundled garbage. So now that we have VLC downloading, let's go to our last one. VLC. Again. Run. Run. I don't care. So this looks like another install IQ one. Uh, download admin, maybe they changed the name, I don't know. Yeah, download admin. Bundle all this garbage with it. Quick install. Oh, it blocks it, nice. Decline, decline, accept, decline, decline. Accept, decline, decline. Okay, so it worked for this download admin one. 
And that's really about it for Unchecky. Uh, this software is really just designed to, I guess, supplement your own common sense, I suppose, when installing software. And it pretty much happens to most people. Like, sometimes you'll just need some kind of obscure software to do one obscure task and then never use it again. And so you'll just be downloading and you really won't be paying attention and then all of a sudden you'll install all this extra crap and you have to waste more time uninstalling all of that. And I think just for like the 50-50 chance of unchecky working, it's worth it just to have because it's it only takes up less than 2 megabytes of memory at any given time and it seems to do a decent job of blocking the bundleware in the more common installers, like you saw uTorrent, it did a pretty good job on, it did a good job on uh, CCleaner, and on some of the download manager ones, like the CNET one. But it's not going to be 100%, so you really just have to do your due diligence and uncheck all of that crapware. So, I actually still wholeheartedly recommend Unchecky as just an extra thing to add on, because there's really, you're not really taking any penalty by running the software. Very little RAM usage, you never see the thing unless if it actually works, and you can actually even disable the notification thing icon. It updates automatically, so you really never see it. So, unchecky, it still has a ways to go, but I think it's a really cool idea, and I hope it gets developed even more, but not too much, if you know what I mean. So, thank you all very much for watching.